Welcome to another edition of the Silent Sports Video Blog. And you're watching right here on the Silent Sports Gaming Channel on YouTube. I'm Troy West coming to you once again. Today's date is August 22nd, 2020. This is episode 134 of the Sports Blog. Um, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Uh, of course, sports is back in the big way, so we'll cover all sports that you need. Uh, we'll look at baseball, how the controversy things happen this week and baseball as some positive news for the Tampa Bay Rays. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. NBA playoffs off to the full swing. Big game threes today. Huge game threes yesterday. We'll uh, get into all that. Um, talk about the Sixers and the draft lot as well. And NFL news. Um, kind of quiet this week. Not a lot of NFL news this week. Nobody signed no more big contracts or anything like that. But, um, we talk about Dez Bryant. We tried out for the Ravens, but um, didn't get a car track, at least not yet. And we'll talk about um, the Kansas City Chiefs who made some changes with um, the, uh, as far as the uh, name is concerned. Well, they didn't change the name, but they made some protocols that I think they ended the chop celebration and the face paint and everything. Uh, the Redskins, well, formerly known as the Redskins, sorry, it's going, probably going to slip and say that a couple of times, but they hired a, a, a black um, president, uh, and that's the first team to ever do that, so uh, we'll talk about all that, um, probably talk a little NHL as well, right, so I'll give an update on that, but um, let's start in Major League Baseball, um, I think this happened, what, on Wednesday? I want to say Wednesday um, night, um, Tom Brennan, uh, sports announcer for Fox, and I didn't know he did baseball, but he was doing baseball for the Cincinnati Reds, and uh, basically, I want to say he's going to be fired, I don't think uh, he's going to get his job back, he already been taking off this fall's NFL schedule, because he was an NFL, I knew him from the NFL, um, announcing games, but uh, I still don't know exactly what he said. I know it's a, a homophobic slur. Um, I think they said along the lines like he tried to paint a whole city out, or well, just stereotype a city of being the capital of uh, something. You know, I still don't know exactly what he said, but if it hadn't been bad, he got kicked out in the middle of his broadcast uh, for the Cincinnati Reds. Um, but uh, once again, you know, this world has changed, not just because of COVID-19, but uh, uh, racial um, equality and, you know, uh, racism in this country, period, uh, is taking a new turn. Um, and just with anything, uh, it's 2020, basically, so you can't, just can't do it. Um, so. Uh, he had, he had a, a full apology. I think he had to apologize. That's why I think the first apology was more, they said he was trying to like, basically kiss up to his boss. This was a apology, his brother. he didn't apologize to the uh, LGBT community. I think he did after the fact, well, after that apology got criticism. But um, obviously, I think he might be done. I don't think he's going to get his job back. Um, but like I said, it's 2020, you can't, I mean, you just can't see some of the stuff and you, you, you just can't do it no more. Um, I gotta be watching TV sometimes, like some old sitcoms and stuff, how they used to basically joke about uh, LGBT community, like it was nothing, you know, but now, like I can imagine that being on TV now, like, I'm like, dang, like even back, uh, like I said, well, I watch a lot of Sad for the Sun because of my job, uh, a lot of my, uh, my residents, they like it, so I put it on for them. It's on Hulu right now. Hulu is doing pretty good right now, I'm putting on some stuff on TV. But anyway, uh, even back, like, I watched some of those episodes on Fresh Half. It used to uh, joke. I mean, it's not, you know, I'm just laughing at the fact that how times has changed, right? You know, so. But uh, I think Tom Brennan, I think he's done, uh, unfortunately. Uh, maybe if I had another gig, but uh, I think Fox will probably have to let him go. Maybe somebody else will give him a chance, but 
that's been a controversial day in baseball this week, let alone uh, the Mets and COVID-19. As COVID-19 continues to uh, sort of try to stop baseball, but baseball is still pushing through. Um, I want to talk about the Tampa Bay Rays because uh, they've been quietly uh, having a great stretch. Uh, I think I saw a stat. Um, well, they swept the Yan- Yankees in New York this week. Um, which the Yankees didn't use, use a home game yet before that series. But the Yankees got a lot of injuries. Um, like Aaron Judge is hurt. Uh, Carlos Stanton is hurt again. Uh, Luis Santorino, I think is hurt or I think they said he out for the season again um uh Paxton started pitcher he's getting looked at for MRI so the Yankees uh, probably Zach Britton is hurt so the Yankees are hurt so but still the Rays uh took over first place as they swept the Yankees and the Red Sox on a road I think that had been done just like I just want to say I think they said the early 1900s or never was done for a team on the same road trip do it you know sweep the Red Sox and then sweep the Yankees in the same road trip so uh Rays like I said uh people said they was going to do good this year like I said I can't name too many guys all I know is the Cy Young winner Snell off the top of my head right now um but they playing well they did lose last night though to the Blue Jays Blue Jays started to play well too quietly things that's been trending down as well unfortunately my Orioles who uh Got off to a decent start, but they've been struggling of late um, in the AL East. But uh, I just wanted to get some uh, love to the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, like I said, Yankees got to get healthy, but uh, you know you can play who you play. You, uh, you gotta, you know, injuries can't be that much of an uh, excuse. But uh, the Rays played pretty good baseball. Um, and the thing I've been thinking about too this year, you know, the schedule. With teams just basically in the same time zones playing that you, you know, the East playing the East. Well, you play your division, then you play the East in the other league. So, like the Rays are only playing the division opponents, then the Mets, so we're going to talk about them, and, the, uh, you know, the Braves, like the AL, the NL East. So, um, no, I'm not going to say it. I don't think it's fair, but it's going to be interesting when the playoffs come around because, you know, the top two teams get in the playoffs, which I think the Rays, I think it's going to be the Rays and the Yankees in the American League East. I think the Blue Jays might make a push, but I think Boston has been playing better, but I think they're just too far behind, and the Orioles are sinking fast. Um, uh, I guess you get some love to the Oakland A's as well. They quietly took over the AL West. Uh, Minnesota started to get things together too in the Central and the American League. National League, the Dodgers, which was suspected, um, uh, got a little lead in the West. Uh, the Central in the NL, I think, uh, with the Cardinals and a lot of games. I think the Cubs still, um, yeah, I think the Cubs lead the division, but they been, you know, up and down lately, but they got off to a fast start. And my Braves lead the East by, uh, a few games. Uh, Marlins still right there. You know, they missed a lot of games as well. So they go about winning percentage. Um, Phillies were struggling. I think they lost again last night. Oh, to my Braves. I think the Braves blew them out. Um, uh, who else in that division? Say Philly. Uh, the New York Mets, which I ain't say about to talk about a little bit. Um, I think they uh, lost Syndergaard. So they dealt with injuries as well. And uh, Seth this, uh, which I think this was like two weeks ago, he just left. He just rolled out. Uh, which you can't blame him. You know, and now look at the Mets. They have COVID-19 uh, going through their organization. In fact, let's talk about that right now. Oh, dang, my thing. Phone lost connection, but uh, so far it's not a big widespread, which is good news. Like the Cardinals as well, they had dealt with it last week, but they were supposed to play the Yankees this week, uh, this weekend, but they canceled that series. So no, they're gonna cancel more games, but uh, like I said, um, COVID-19 is real, uh, I, um, uh, found out a friend of mine, uh, dealt with it, um, uh, for a couple of weeks, so, uh, 
I don't understand why people still saying, well, you don't hear this much anymore. People who said it's a hoax and this, this, and that. Um, but yeah, no matter where you are, you're at risk when you leave the house. Um, I don't leave the house that often, like I said. Um, I'm more of a homebody, but uh, I probably go one or two places and I catch public transportation, so I'd be nervous, you know. And, you know, you see people with no mask on, especially this is more of the young people that I'm seeing. I notice that. It's more the young people. Because it's the perception out there that even if you get it, you you want to live. So they saying, well, if I catch it, I just be sick for two weeks because that's basically the average time you're sick. Um, but I found out somebody, uh, a friend of mine, uh, had got it, um, and it's real. It's just, it's just real, you know. So uh, it's, it's it's terrible. So you got to be careful out here. You got to be safe, man. America overall has handled this virus pretty, pretty wrong. Uh, blame Donald Trump, I guess, for that, because he's really downplayed this thing since the beginning. And, um, but I'm glad in Maryland, I think they did a pretty, they've done a pretty good job here, and in Baltimore, where I'm from. Um, and like I said, I think we fortunate that, I mean, this will be real, like, Baltimore is not somewhere you want to be anyway. Like, so I think it's not a lot of outsiders coming in here. So I think that's why overall we've been all right, even though we still, cases still been rising the last, really since 4th of July, um, cases been rising, so it's been a month. But um, with the vote, to go back to the Mets, I just uh, hope it doesn't spread, you know, me, uh, like I said, it's the fan in me, I just don't want, you know, don't want baseball to stop. But they've pushed through it, like the uh, Marlins had it the worst, a couple of weeks ago, the whole, pretty much the whole team had caught it. Um, but the other outbreaks have been small, they kept it to a minimum, so hopefully the Mets will be the same and they can get back in the field. Um, and not knowing we're going to make those games up. Um, but uh, it's just, like I said, it's the corona. all I want to say basically is the coronavirus is not a hoax, it's not fake. Um, it's really out there. And I still think they're trying to figure things out for us, like, the long-term effects of the virus um, but um, basically I don't want to risk I don't want to get this I don't want to get it <laughs> I'm just going to put it like that I don't want to I don't want to find out what it's like I don't uh, no sir you know so uh, every time I go out I have my mask on I try not to touch my face I try not to touch things if I don't have to uh, when I go to the store you know I just grab get what I need to get the heck out of there I stay my distance um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I just, 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 just do your part, that's all, um, hopefully, I'm hoping in the next few months things improve, but, like, I thought they seemed like they were about to improve it, and things went back downhill again, so, um, but honestly, I think a lot of people, a lot of Americans are tired of it, just hope this thing, just get, get the vaccine, I guess, which is still, we with the vaccine, I was talking to another friend of mine that works in the health force, that uh, that's gonna um, people gonna be skeptical of taking it because it might, you know, like even with the flu shot, sometimes you get sick, you know, but then you're all right. After, you know, so you might still get sick, you know, with the vaccine. But then, then let alone it being enough, you know, you know, it's not gonna be enough at first. So just like the test, the test was it took a long time for them to get, you know, the that have enough tests to test people for the uh, coronavirus. So it's going to be, ain't going to get no better, you know, no time soon. Just hope we can get through it. And uh, I'm just nervous about the flu season coming back around and messing things up even worse. So um, so hopefully the Mets, hopefully they get through it and be all right. I think they said it was a player and a staff member, so it was only two people at the time. I don't know if it went up since then. I don't think so. Um, but hopefully they get through it. And, the baseball, you know, they're still pushing through it. They don't have a bubble. They talk about doing a bubble for the playoffs when that comes around. And maybe that will be a good idea. But um, I knew it was going to be some bumps because they still tra you're still traveling. So, And I think that's probably the highest risk when you're actually traveling on planes and stuff like that. I think you had a very high risk of maybe catching COVID-19. But that's our MLB update for the week. Let's go to the NBA playoffs. I'm trying to hopefully I make this video shorter. I thought it would be shorter because 
I didn't have a lot of news this week for us, especially in the NFL. Um, and I want to uh, thank, what's, in fact, I pull his name, a uh, uh, guy watched one of my videos that gave me a lot of constructive tips, um, which uh, I'm grateful for. Like I said, I want to hear people feedback. Maybe if I can improve it, I can prove it. Um, but basically, it was everything, you know, like uh, even me looking at the camera. Um, but I looked down at my notes and then I sort of like lose, you know, tracking the camera. So, I, you know, it's little things I do. I honestly, like I said, I'd be nervous. I'd be more nervous than you think. You know, I'm not used to, I don't really, the crazy thing is I don't really like being on camera <laughs> that long. So, but um, I, like I said, I do the vlog for um, myself and uh, for the people uh, that support me. So, um, but let's talk, let's get to the NBA playoffs. Uh, big, big games yesterday. Um, that slammed, uh, that, uh, probably slammed the door on a lot of these series. Um, uh, Toronto, uh, took care of the Brooklyn Nets. Another huge win for them yesterday. But Brooklyn, I knew they was, uh, I said about five games, I think. Um, of course, they'd be more interested next year when they get the rent and Kyrie Irving back. Um, and who they keep. Um, but you know, I think the Raptors might finish them off tomorrow, <laughs> uh, so that might be a sweep. And Nuggets Jazz, that's cool. That's a weird series. Jazz, uh, to me, they um, they proved me wrong so far. Uh, they look like they came ready to play. Uh, Donovan Mitchell has played out his mind right now, and Rudy Gobert, and they destroyed the Nuggets yesterday. Denver, like I said, uh, they got a nice young team. Uh, the Joker, Jokic, uh, I think even though he's playing pretty well, I think he needs to step up more. Um, Michael Porter Jr. is starting to come out of his shell. Uh, Jamal Murray has played well. Except for, you know, yesterday, of course, nobody ever didn't play well at all. But um, but I think they'll take that bounce back. They might bounce back when game four, but um, I think this might go the distance. Um, but I'm still going to stick with Denver. I think Utah, I think... Uh, not said Don Mitchell around the gas, but I think he's clearly been carrying a load. Uh, Gobert has played well as well, but as far as the scoring load, it's been it's been Mitchell pretty much. Um, so um, I think they might come back to heart Utah, but they've definitely played very inspired basketball, and I won't be shocked if they win this series. You know, they, they had the Clippers up next. Speaking of the Clippers. Uh, big win against the Mavs last night. Luka Doncic twisted his ankle. Supposed to get him our MRI this morning or sometime today. So we'll probably find out more about that. They just take a 2-1 lead in the series. Utah took a 2-1 lead in the series as well. I didn't mention that. But, um, I didn't see, well, actually I didn't see pretty much none of the games yesterday. Um, and then Boston beat Philadelphia. So they got three games to none as well. Um, all right, the Brett Brown rumors are coming that he might be fired, he might be let go. Um, but like I said, when they lost Ben Simmons, you know, I pretty much was done with Philadelphia as well. I thought they probably would win a game, and they played pretty well in the first half yesterday. Um, but Boston was able to pull away. Uh, I think this Boston is too much. Now, the next the next group of series, of course, it looks like it's going to be Boston, Toronto. Um, in the next series, that's going to be that's going to be a great series. And Milwaukee, Miami as well. Miami, uh, well, they played a day for game three. Big game three for the Pacers. They all want to go down three nothing. Um, of course, it's never been done in the NBA. So, uh, Lakers play again. They bounced back. There was a lot of talk about the Lakers in that game one. Portland won, but they destroyed them in game two. I think that's more. I think Portland can play better than that, but I think uh, the Lakers just too much for the Blazers. I think they, um, Go go ahead and finish them off as well. Might still go six though. Um, what against the Milwaukee, Orlando? Of course, another. You know, people saw Patty go in the Bucks. I uh, think Orlando. Like I said, they uh, Orlando plays hard. I like the Magic. They just need uh, add another piece. Eric Gordon not playing, so they got injuries as well. You know what happened to uh, uh, Joseph, the forward, um, tore his ACL. I think. Uh, so he's out. You know, of course. But, um, uh, they've been playing hard, but I just think Milwaukee is too much, you know, it's just too much for them. I don't think they'll win another game in that series. 
um, what other series is out there? Uh, I say Miami, Indiana. I think Miami. Um, this is a little bit. They, they, they shut down TJ Warren. Oh, the Depot been playing a little bit better, but uh, I think Miami's just the better team. I think they're going to uh, take command of that series. So there's one more series out there that I'm not thinking of. It's got to be a Western Conference one. Um, oh, uh, Houston, uh, Oklahoma City. Uh, does this Houston too much for them as well? I thought they would. Maybe, you know, Houston, maybe I think only way Houston would lose, which is Houston's philosophy, which has been like that for years. If they're not hitting their threes, you can, you know, stay in the game with them. But they've been hitting the threes. James Harden, they play well. I think Russell Westbrook might be back today. Uh, if not, definitely game four. But um, I think they might finish. I think that could be a sweep. I think they Thunder could win a game, but I think that could be a sweep as well. Um, so, uh, playoffs off to a full start. Uh, like I said, it feels, it does feel different. It don't feel like a normal playoff game. Because of the crowd. The crowd is so much more hype in the playoffs. Uh, the little fake noise be alright, but it's just not the same. But I think the intensity for the players, I don't think that's, um, will go down as well. Uh, they be really out there playing hard. Like I said, uh, look at the Magic. Um, how hard they playing. Uh, Utah, you know, playing their hearts out, uh, Miami, um, all these teams, so, um, uh, I think the, the players are still playing, uh, with that playoff intensity, but it is different, though, it's a different atmosphere, uh, more NBA news, let's talk about the, well, let's, let's go, well, I'm gonna get to the draft Friday, I, I got that, that's my second thing I want to talk about, but let's get to the Sixers, because we already talked about them, um, uh, basically, are they done? I do. I, do they, they, I think they done. I think Boston go sweep them. Um, now, me about Brett Brown, I don't. I think he's done a pretty good job, um, personally. But uh, I think they is gonna let him go. It's just too many, uh, too much noise about it. Uh, especially if they get swept, I think that's gonna make it even worse for them. Um, uh, but uh, I wonder who they're gonna look to. Um, what's the cultivation's closest vacancies right now? Brooklyn is pretty much, uh, I like Jack Vaughn. I don't know if they're going to give him the job or not, but that's an empty space. Uh, of course, New Orleans fired Alvin Gentry this week, which I was a little bit surprised by. Um, and I think he got an uh, unfair shape because, um, he dealt with a lot of injuries and there was a bubble situation. Yeah, they didn't play well when they got to the bubble. Zion was on the uh, minutes restriction, which I understand. You don't want to exert him too much and get hurt and then not be ready for the next season or uh, further his career. Um, so I think he, I think he got, I think he should at least got one more year to see what the team would be like, fully healthy. Um, uh, but uh, they let him go, so that's a spot that's open. Chicago, of course, uh, let go. They coached last week, so that's. Uh, that's an open space. I think it's one more team out there without a coach right now. I want to say it's the New York Knicks. No, they hired. Um, hey, who they just hired? Uh, Tom Thibodeau. So that that's that's vacancy. Is uh, I think that's a good hire for them. I think they do need like a hard nosed coach because if the team is young, maybe you can push them a little harder. Um, but we'll see how long that lasts. The Knicks always something happened there, so um, I think that's it. I think I don't can't think of any other places that don't have a coach right now. And if it is, I apologize. But um, yeah, but uh, Philadelphia, I don't know. I mean, uh, people say maybe they should, they should break up Embiid and uh, Simmons because they don't really. So there's been rumors they don't really get along, and um, but. Uh, ben Simmons to me is a transcendent player. I think you gotta try. I think it be like I said, even when he came down here, I didn't like his vibe. I think he really didn't want to come. Now he played real well yesterday in the first half, and he showed his flash and still playing hard. But I think he's pretty much scrapping this season and just gonna look forward to the next season. Sorry about that. My alarm went off. I was gonna get up and record the blog, but I since I was up, I just went ahead and try to do it. But as far as in this bubble, yeah, the Sixers are finished. Like, I think 
Ross to go and finish him off. And that'll be the end of them. Now the draft lottery was Thursday night. Um, very interesting. Speaking of the Knicks, they got they was all the way down to eighth. Um, but I think the top three picks is uh, Minnesota, which is interesting to see what they're going to do. There's been rumors that they already probably looking to trade down. Um, and the Warriors get the second pick. I think that's interesting as well. Uh, Warriors will be a team next year. You have to look out for with uh, Andrew Wiggins. Uh, with Stephen Clay coming back, Draymond Green, so they're going to be competing in the Western Conference. The Western Conference, man, like, it's been like that for years, though. Like, even back in the 90s, the Western Conference was always a strong, there's always a lot of great teams in the West battling, and it's going to be, just look at the bottom, forget the top, you know, you got the Lakers, Clippers at the top, they probably will be the two top teams still. Uh, I, was, I gotta give Houston credit, Houston would probably be a strong third. I put them a fourth. This is just me ranking the teams, how good I think they are. I think Houston is ahead of Denver um, just because they got two superstars. Like I said, that's Denver needs either somebody to become a superstar or they need one. Uh, but I put them fourth. Utah, uh, OKC, um, well, all the teams of the playoff this year. But think about the teams that didn't, you know, Phoenix uh, is, it's, you know, young teams coming up. Sacramento. Um, you know, they made some changes. They got rid of Divac and uh, Peter Sarkovich. Now, uh, Joe Dumars is the, uh, the uh, VP, I believe. And that's the issue. Joe Dumars is a good job. Think, of, think about the teams in Detroit um, with Chauncey Billups. That, that, that uh, era uh, going to, what, seven straight Eastern Conference Finals. And he always added pieces to go along with that team. Um, so, you know, he's got a feel for basketball so the Kings are probably just going to improve more as well um, uh, the West is just strong man like New Orleans you know even though like I said they got young talent there um, the Spurs will still be interesting to see I think they sort of well you know I, I don't want to call it rebuild but I mean you still got LaMarca Aldridge and uh Jamal DeRose is still two good players if you add some nice pieces around. That's what, you know, there's no scrubs teams. Like, the whole Western Conference is just bananas, man. Like, crazy. Like, it's no bad team. There's no terrible, like, you know, all of them At least everybody can win 20, 30 games in that conference, you know. Like, from the bottom to the top. So, it's going to be, next year it's going to be very interesting and everybody come back healthy too then in the east you know you got the Brooklyn going to come up so the NBA is uh, having a bright future it's going to be a hell of a season next year think about this season how this went Toronto will still be around Boston will still be around in the east uh, and Philadelphia if they still together they'll still be a factor the Pacers um, which to me has been a surprise even though I like Victor Oladipo but I just think like, you know, they got a lot of nice pieces. Sort of remind me of Denver a little bit. But the NBA, man, it's, uh, it's looking good. Like, it's, it seems like it's going to be some parody, you know, a little bit. So, can't wait the next year. But we just going to focus on this year, the draft lottery. Like I said, uh, I think the draft is in October, I believe. Like, a real bad after the season's over. But, yeah, I think the Warriors are second. Uh, I think... I want to say Charlotte is third, got the third pick, Charlotte Hornets, so, um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's crazy, the NBA is, uh, it's going to be great for the next few years, and few years to come, um, now this draft, uh, they say it's not a deep draft, of course, uh, one of the Ball brothers, uh, the Mellow Ball, the, the Mellow Ball, it's his turn, uh, they say he might be the number one pick, um, uh, but uh, I don't know. I think Minnesota, they can't fit there with the Angelo Russell. Some people say he will. I think he could. Um, but like I said, there's more rumor that they want to trade down and have somebody that probably wants ball more, trade up and get some more picks uh, to go along with Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, like I said, the Angelo Russell. Uh, of course, they traded Wingers um, during the season last. Well, this year, I guess you could still say, but. That's an interesting team, Minnesota. And I, I didn't even mention them. Like, they got talent, you know. But the crazy thing is, I think if I had to rank all the teams right now, I would say that's the worst team. And they they got Carfee Towns and 
Yeah, it's a little rush. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just the West is just crazy. Uh, but let's move on. Let's move on. I, like I said, I my videos be so long because I just get to rambling and I get excited when I think about certain things. And I'm excited. Like, I'm excited about next NBA season when all the teams are back. Um, uh, like I said, dry the NFL this week. Not no major news, uh, no major contracts. So like last week was a busy week. Of course, with, uh, the two tight ends and the best in the league, in my opinion, Kittle, George Kittle, and uh, Travis Kelsey getting big deals. Um, the Bosa deal I think was last week for the Chargers as well. Uh, no big news, no big signings this week. Um, uh, I want to talk about Dez Bryant because uh, well, Dez Bryant tried out for my flavor team in the NFL, the Baltimore Ravens. Um, this week um, uh, He didn't leave he didn't sign a contract so he left without sign a contract, but the Ravens says he still could be signed in the future um, No definitive uh, news how he looked how he didn't look or whatever um, Some people some people is saying they don't think he's gonna he get signed anywhere that he's past his prime But that's right, you know, he's been He was rather you know, he was considered one of the top receivers of the league. Uh, I was talking to one of my uh Residents um, yesterday about it, whatever day. He didn't really remember him. Uh, but when he was with the Cowboys, he was a uh, uh, top five receiver. He played more with Tony Romo, though. Um, you know, Romo been retired a couple of years now. But um, at Dallas team, you know, the catch that wasn't a catch, that was a catch, whatever, in Green Bay in that playoff game. Of course, Dad's known for that. Um, uh, you know, never been the fancy guy. He was more like. Now, I'm not comparing him to Julio Jones, because Julio Jones is fast, too. But I think he's more of the physical receiver, go over the middle, snatch the ball out the air. Uh, he's that um, type of receiver. Wasn't really built on speed, but he could get you a catch over the middle, make a big catch. I'm um, on the third down, you know, sort of possession receiver. Um, then, you know, had some controversial things throughout the career, some, you know, some off the field stuff um, early in his career. Um, but Jerry Jones gave him a chance, well, paid him, gave him his money, um, but really since after that he sort of thought tailing off, um, uh, then like I said, Romo loses his job to Dak Prescott, and ever since then, you know, he fell off and, uh, they didn't sign him back, uh, tried out last year for the New Orleans Saints, and unfortunately, uh, towards Achilles, uh, so I don't know if he's really even fully recover, recovered from that because that's been less than a year ago And you see Achilles take you a year to recover um, So uh, the Long long road for Des Bryant now as a fan as a Ravens fan. I'm gonna talk as a fan right now I don't mind we need more receivers, you know to help uh, Hollywood Brown and the other receivers there um, I think Lamar Jackson passed the game will continue to improve even this year compared to last year um I think, uh, so I think it wouldn't hurt, but you know, you know, the rumors out there, we're going to be uh, looking at Antonio Brown as well, well, Lamar Jackson actually vouched for him, and of course Hollywood Brown did, that's his family, so I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if he's vouching for him, but like I said, I think, uh, as a fan, I wouldn't, I mean, I'm like on the fence about it, like I said, I've voiced my opinion about it before, I think, on a talent standpoint, of course, you sign, like, this is a no-brainer, you sign him, but Kitty stay can he behave and then you know you don't have him for the first eight games um anyway if you do sign him you got an eight game suspension which i said i was shocked by i thought it would at least be 10. but he got eight and i think he's all right happy with that just gonna take his eight games so uh, if you sign him you gotta you know wait eight games for him but uh i just you know i just don't like it for the locker room man they got locker room is pretty from the outside looking in it looks pretty well uh look pretty peaceful and I just don't want him messing it up but as far as talent wise right who wouldn't want to tell me a brown he's still even though he haven't been a league I would still put him top three in the, in the NFL right now uh whenever he do walk back on the field um so but we'll see uh that's right good luck to him if we do sign him I wouldn't mind it um just for veteran leadership because he's matured a lot over the years as well he'd be a good leader in the locker room I think um, if he do be signed by the Ravens or if somebody else sign him, um, but we'll see. I don't think he's ready to quit yet, though. Um, 
we've been talking about COVID-19. Let's uh, talk about it with the NFL. Now, the NFL done so far since training camps have started and everything, and done pretty has done pretty well uh, with the COVID-19 protocol. Um, I think it's less than one percent of the players have tested positive. Um, it's been a few guys uh, that has, um, but nothing significant. And once again, the uh, NFL will be traveling, even though it's once a week. Um, and then, you know, NFL is a contact sport, so it's going to be interesting when the season starts. But right now, I think we're going to make it to at least the first game of the season. Um, and we'll see how things go from there. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm more optimistic than pessimistic, but I'm a little pessimistic just because, honestly, how baseball is gone. And, um, and I think if one player gets it on the team, it's going to spread quickly. Um, or hopefully you don't have it during the game, you know, so you getting tackled or tackled. It's just going to be, it's going to be very interesting. Um, but like I said, I think it would be hard for the NFL to do a bubble. Now, I guess, I guess the way people are saying it, it's possible. So I'm more uh, open to maybe it could work, but it's just too many people. Like, it's at least 100 people on the team, at least. And I'm not just counting the players. I'm telling staff, um, coaching staff, and most of the coaching staff are older men. Um, so, uh, you know, referees have pulled out uh, this year. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's, you can look at it both ways. Look, I think you can take some, a lot of positives from how they've been going so far with the NFL, but it's a lot of negative as well. Um, so, uh, like I said, we'll see how things turn out with that. But so far, so good. Um, not a lot of positive tests. And um, uh, they started contact, I think, this week. So uh, things are going well so far in the NFL. And our final thing I want to talk about with the NFL, of course, uh, you heard about, you know, I called them the, the Redskins, by mistake, but the Washington football team um, made a big hire, hired a uh, former businessman uh, let me see if I can pull it up. Probably should have wrote his name down. But uh, the first black president. I uh, see my phone froze. But uh, a lot of people, a lot of people, are skeptical about the hire. Like it's just a PR move, which it could be. But um, uh, I guess I give the Washington uh, benefit of the doubt for trying. I guess Daniel Snyder. Uh, even though I think it's all about his pockets, but um, but at least he's making the changes. Um, we'll see how long, uh, you know, if he shows true colors again. But so far, he's been trying to, he's playing up to the crowd, playing up to his sponsors, don't want to lose any more money. Especially during this time, you're losing money anyway through the coronavirus. But um, we'll see how this hire goes. Um, uh, Risk is also with uh, the running back Geist. They released him last week uh, due to uh, rape allegations uh, of domestic violence. Not allegations, I guess he was charged, but, but then some rape allegations came out after he already been released. When he was, when he was in college at LSU, so um, not looking for good for him. I think he's not going to play this year. Ain't nobody going to touch him. Um, and he might be facing the suspension as well sooner or later um, so the risk has had an interesting week this week um, with everything going on um, like I said as far as on the field I don't uh, they say uh, Chase Young the rookie uh, from Ohio State he, was, he looks really really good um, but other than that and um, to see how the way Haskins uh, developed this year I think risk is gonna have a long year um, on the field um, so we'll see how that is uh, so it's just a week for Washington. Uh, I got the Chiefs down here because the Chiefs made a few changes. Like I said, it's 2020. Um, now the name might be in jeopardy as well eventually, but for right now the Chiefs have pulled back some of the uh, fan celebrations. Um, and, they, and then another thing this week, they expected to have fans in the stands. The Chiefs does. And you know, they start uh, Thursday, that Thursday night for the against Houston because they won the championship. So they always get that Thursday night game at home. And they expect to have some fans there. Um, so we'll see how that works out. I'm not gonna really get into that. I don't think it's a good idea, but 
Um, yeah, I guess if you can do it, try. But I don't think it's a good idea. But they getting rid of they, uh, just like um, like I said, I'm a Braves fan, so you know the little oh the little chant, uh, the Chiefs outlawed that. Cause they do it too, and you can't put on the uh, like the feather thing. I think they banned that. They banned the face paint. So uh, they banning all that stuff, but they the name so far is gonna stay. But I think eventually, I'm um, starting to think that eventually the name is gonna have to go like the Chiefs, uh, even in the, uh, the Blackhawks, like all those type of things gonna have to gonna have to go. And unfortunately, that's it. That's what it's gonna be. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, the only time will tell. Like I said, if money start getting taken away you know it's coming so that's it uh for this week uh covered a lot of things um hopefully my video wasn't too long um i think i started almost an hour ago so it's probably is kind of long so unfortunately i'm sorry about that again i always get the rambling and talk about this with these some final thoughts uh you've been seeing my videos of cuphead don't mess with the devil i'll continue to do those videos um, I probably gonna start doing some Call of, Duty, Call of Duty videos as well. Hopefully this video don't take too long to upload. I wanna play a little bit before I start work this afternoon. Uh, I want to talk about some N NHL. Um, they starting to get to the second round. They in the bubble, so they have been doing well. Um, games from yesterday, Flyers finished off the Canadians. So they win the series, they move on. And the Canucks defeated the St. Louis Blues and they win their series so they move on so it's one first round game left oh second round I'm sorry this is the second round starts tonight uh, Dallas Stars and the Colorado Avalanche I try to keep up with the NHL I'm not a huge NHL fan I admit that but I follow the Blackhawks um, and the San Jose, San Jose Sharks so I think the Sharks and the Blackhawks are out so if I believe so I think the Sharks wasn't even in there or was they I don't know but uh second round now so um definitely check that out if you're an NHL fan um but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up I wanna say thank you um hopefully y'all have a great weekend stay safe once again coronavirus is not a hoax wear your mask uh keep your distance um follow all the protocols if you can and um I think you'll be fine and um uh, just another shout out to uh, uh, my man Derek. Uh, I know he'll probably be watching today sometime. Um, my man Fat Man, Don Warren, like my brother right there. Um, and everybody else who supports me, I thank y'all so much. Um, and um, uh, well, uh, no special this week, but I am um, NFL season starts soon, so I will do an NFL preview special. Um, which will probably be on a Thursday, maybe the same night um, that the season starts. I might do it the Thursday before. There's no preseason, so um, so uh, I still I'm gonna think about that. Start putting that together, and I'll be back next Saturday. I'll be back next Saturday. Next Saturday I'll be off in the morning, so I record another blog. Playoffs will still be going on. We should be getting close to the second round in the NBA playoffs by then. Um, uh, so a lot to talk about next week if nfl news we'll talk about that baseball will still be going on so we have more to talk about next week i'm troy west saying thank you so much for watching thank you for watching the silent sports the gaming channel and thank you for watching the silent sports video vlog this was episode 134 and i'll see you guys next time thank you so much